Okay, welcome everyone to game two of the Monster Combine featuring the graduating class of 2024. In this game two, and the white team is going to be team three, and the purple team will be team four. Now let's get the lineup starting with the purple team, team four. Number four, Emma Mathis. Number nine, Bowie Blazak. Number 10, Abby Murphy. Number 11, Hannah Van Brainer, Bramer. Number 13, Caitlin Garvin. Number 15, Katie Malibur. Number 16, Mia Estelle. Number 19, Chloe Luther. Number 20, Katrina Rowe. Number 21, Addie Cooper. In goal for the purple team, Abby Penfield. Also number 30, Jesse Lyons. Number 33, Danny Mooney. Number 52, Cam Deshu. And number 79, Talis Tarbell. And now for the white team, team three, number one, Caitlin Scambalone. Number two, Kate Rathnam. Number six, Leora Cook. Number 10, Brooke Sumner. Number 11, Devin Livingston. Number 14, Logan Madigan. Number 19, Maeve Diefendorf. Number 22, Brooke Malkinoff. Number 36, Ashlyn Roberts. Number 39, Danielle Swetnowski. Number 64, Ava Tallchief. Number 66, Alexis Cronalmi. Number 77, Katie Brancato. Number 78, Jayla Thompson. Number 80, Kia Swamp. And in goal, Berkeley Brown. All right, fellas, here we go. Game two, I'm here with Jay O'Brien, our director for Monster Lacrosse, and Craig Chamberlain, the Monster 2024 Purple Team coach and director of recruitment. I th I, fellas, in the first game, I know it was a, a little lopsided, but the orange team um, from Syracuse were matched up against some heavily uh, talented kids from Rochester. I thought uh, the Syracuse kids ended up doing a nice job when they slowed it down and got into the rhythm. Um, I thought the Rochester kids looked fast and furious. Um, I'm thinking that this game here will be um, a little more even in, in uh, as the score-wise goes, and I think we're going to see some great things out of these players. Right out of the gates, you have the matchup that we've been waiting for. Devin Livingston representing white and Katie Malibu in purple on the draw. This will be a more even game. Uh, it was just a blitzkrieg to start. The, the monster purple group is used to playing games at that speed, and monster orange in that first game just probably has not played too many at that speed. But this is going to this is going to be an even matchup. Danny Mooney with the rebound right away. Katrina in the waves row to lead it off. And you'll see this group will tend to push more into traffic and make plays in traffic. They're not afraid to play in a little tighter spaces. The goalies in these games, you know, they're both uh, Monster Syracuse kids. Berkeley Brown's going to be playing with the white team. Um, Abby Penfield playing with the purple, purple team. Devin Livingston looking to dodge here. Devinston is definitely a blue chip kid. We'll put Devin Livingston at the eight. And she puts it away. Yep. Mia Estelle, a great defender slash midfielder. Uh, great speed, multi-sport athlete, stud soccer player also. She'll stick her nose in on everything. 
Yeah, Mia, um, you know, like I said, she a, a, could be a collegiate soccer player as well. The jury's out on her, what she's going to do, but it's great to have, be her and have options, right? Absolutely. Looks like that number 10, Brooke Sumner for the white team, carrying the ball in. Danny Mooney with the pick. Oop. And there's that wet spot that we we're talking about that we've been worried about the whole time. Emma, it looks like Emma Mathis might have put on a couple inches too. She's gotten a little bigger. She's gotten bigger, stronger, and dangerous. Oh, and nice here she shows there. why. Good yep. job, Emma Mathis. Yep. Emma's very intelligent. Got great game sense. Makes good decisions. She's gonna she's gonna be a steal for somebody, and she's gonna make somebody really happy. Penfield product, Emma Mathis. Penfield. She's uh, gonna be playing for Coach Dave York this year in Penfield. Yep. Katie Kate Rathnam the going group. to the goal. Good take. Draws the shooting space or draws the, the foul to get on the eight. Kate is one of the shiftiest 24s we have. She's got such a phenomenal change of direction. Puts it away. Said I think this is going to be a really even score wise yep. game. Tailing on both sides. Mathis gets it. Addie Cooper made the pass to Mathis. Addie is a midfielder slash defensive midfielder who wants Harvard. She has the grades and the brains. Definitely somebody that wants an Ivy League school and education. Well, I'm not sure what he gave it to her there, but Bowie Blazak will start with the ball. You have big plans for her this year? Oh, yeah. Bowie Blazak, Canandaigua Academy. Um, and she'll have an opportunity to try out um, and, and play uh, play varsity. She's got some, um, you know, definitely have the opportunity to get some playing time if she can beat out some, uh, some kids that uh, she's going to match up against. Chloe Luther. Oh, two great dodges and just slipped. Mathis again, driving to the middle. Bowie Blazek over to Eddie Cooper. Passes behind, Eddie still corrals it. A little bit of a shooting, uh, dangerous propelling there. He's going to give her 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds in the sin bin. Let's see if Coach Crandall elects to play short because we all know that Coach uh, Madigan will not when he gets carded. <laughs> he, he had two cards last game and there wasn't a second of penalty time served. <laughs> now, as you see number four in purple, Emma Mathis go down there. Her ankles did not get broke. If you're new to the broadcast right now, it's very slippery on that turf. New girl to the program, Jesse Lyons, number 30, travel all the way from um, Minnesota. Oh, wow. No, maybe Wisconsin, one of the two. She traveled a long way to play here today. Well, if she came from Wisconsin, I hope she brought uh, Aaron Rodgers with her so that he could play for the Browns. <laughs> Brooke Malkin off with a goal there. Assist from number 11, Devin Livingston. to Malibu. Here's one of the top matchups we could have here. It's Malibu and Livingston. Ripper off the wow. post. Devin did a good job defending that as well. And she's on the outlet from Danielle Switnowski and the BTB. Danny Mooney with the ball. A little head and shoulder fake. Running strong. Malibu again. Katrina Rowe. Shot, Katrina Rowe. Good feed. 
three in a row. Her sister's Courtney's playing to the University of Albany, freshman there this year. Yep. Stell comes up with the ball. Good defensive play by Leora Cook there to read that pass. Kate Ratham. She's got great speed, great change of direction. We consistently urge her to dodge more. Abby Murphy with a strong play. They can put Leora Cook at the eight. Well, Abby Murphy getting called on that foul. She's new to our program, and she is a general, a gentle giant. I consistently ask her to be more physical because uh, she has the skill set to play at the upper level as a defender. And with that size, she's got to she's got to play a little tough. Mooney with a great play and a little dip and dunk, a beautiful goal. Oh, they're going to take that one away. Still, that, that no, skill I, I level it was, was impressive. I thought it was a great goal. Great yep. composure in there. Yep. Emma Mathis wants the ball. That's a great sign. Eddie Cooper. She's got great feet. What a great dodge. That's from a defender slash defensive midfielder Maybe making that dodge. Getting her own rebound too. Absolutely. Emma Mathis expecting an inside roll maybe. Nope. Back to Addy. Looking for Chloe Luther. Not sure Chloe was looking for her. Cam Cameron Daysu's gonna hammer the goalie here. Uh-oh, Cam just one into the... Oh, she got it. Behind the backer by Emma Mathis. Lexis Cromaldi. Oh. You came in late on the play. Buoy to Chloe. Chloe Luther with the finish. Good look from Buoy Blazak. Good movement down the road. Yeah. Here. Nice play. This moves right down. Kia Swamp. Nice finish. Sounds like she should be playing for the Gators. Kia Swamp. Playing in the Swamp in yep. Gainesville? Yep. Nice save. Berkeley Brown there with the save. Ashton Roberts with what I think is her first touch of the game. We haven't called her yet, and she's going to be a stud. Nice save there. Yep. By Abby Penfield. Danny Mooney with the ball. Jay, were you going to chime in here today or are you just spectating? Listen, you guys are <laughs> doing a <laughs> terrific job. When the play is this high, you know, it's fun to watch, right, Jay? It is fun to watch. Devin Livingston showing why she's going to be arguably a top 25 player in the country. Defense here by Roberts. Roberts, the best defender on our team, although she's a midfielder, hands down. Just big, smooth, composed. Her sister's committed uh, to North Carolina. I think Ashlyn is going to end up being even better. There you go. She knocks down the pass. She's just so smooth with her stick and her positioning and control. Who's she chasing into a corner there? Number 76 on the purple team. That 79 tail is Tarbo.
And she intercepts another one, Ashlyn Roberts. Looking forward to seeing her with a more active role this year for Russia and Rihanna. Absolutely. Well, as a freshman, she led our defense. Uh, she'll definitely go to the midfield. You know, and you know, we had a senior, all-county senior player that uh, would not cover the other team's top players, so Ashland had to cover, you know, the top seniors in Section 5. Are you going to let us know who that player is? Yeah. You <laughs> I know who it is. I, I want to hear you say it. Just whisper. They can't pick it up on the audio. Well, Yard Cook with an eight-meter <laughs> shot with a goal. Good job, the Yard. <laughs> I could definitely say it. I'm no longer <laughs> coaching. <laughs> I could say whatever I want, but I would not do that to a kid. That's fine. Be glad to do it to her dad. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah. Nice take there by Katie Malibur. Kelly Broncato bringing the ball to the up the side. Nice take right down the middle. She's gonna draw herself a eight meter shot. Number one, Caitlin Scambalone. She's gonna get the eight meter. Good take by Caitlin. So on that call, why why are we not uh, playing the same rule in high school and college with the parallel stick? That would be a question for the rules. NCAA and rules U.S. High School Rules Committee. Yeah. I have, I'm not even sure they know why. Yeah. Nice look inside. Katrina Rowe showing a little creativity. Well, you bring up a good point, Coach, in that it's hard to teach at the younger levels and then you know the kids are watching so much college lacrosse now so they see the exact opposite of what we try to teach at the at the youth level to get the stick up and down yep. make contact with the knuckles and and yet all they see in the college game is is horizontal horizontal it's um, something that should be looked at but again put it on the list there's some other things I'm sure that are more important. Livingston going against Matt Livingston right down the gut. Nice save. No, good stick by Abby Murphy Abby got Murphy that. Murphy got yep. it. Yep. Stayed out of shooting space, a little C cut, and got her stick in the lane. Now she's winning the ball. Good play by Ashlyn Roberts. Roberts with the goal. Little fake high, shoot low. She's got it. Yeah. Very I just, smooth. I just saw her before the game with her older sister Avery, who you've mentioned is committed to Carolina. Uh, Ashlyn's taller, and I don't think it's close. She's got good size. Ashlyn's still growing, and she's starting to become more and more explosive. Blazak out there against Malkinoff. Horizontal stick. It's going to get everybody in trouble. Nice grab by Roberts, one handed up the field to Livingston. Where could she run? Livingston well, puts one she got a, She back. got a hat trick this game behind the back. Chloe Luther. You think Canada Eagle will face guard Livingston this year? Um, in actuality, no. Um, Pronti's going to get the face guard, and um, we'll set two people up on Livingston. You can't face guard two people. It's too tough. Then you got to play zone and with the other, you know, five people. Tough, big zone to cover, right? Yeah. Um, but we'll give that we'll give that to Pronti and then we'll just we'll zone it up and make Livingston uh, beat us from the outside. One game, Jay. One game. That's all. I'm looking forward to it. 
Brooke Sumner with a nice shot. Picked up by Abby Penfield. Save. You think he have a chance to anger an entire town again this year? I think so. <laughs> I don't know what they were so upset about <laughs> last year. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I mean, it was Just a, one town? You factor Farmington in there. It's, oh, well, <laughs> two. Logan Madigan, another convert from defense to attack, number 14 in white. She's done a really good job learning that Kate position. Ratham. Oh, great Kate Ratnam again. Katie Malber working that sidearm a la Sydney Pereka she's been working on. Tie ball game. We here. do. I was just looking at that too, Jay. About ten. Oh, nice pickup. All right, number thirteen in the purple, Caitlin Garvin. Intercepts the ball and goes down and scores a goal. Nice play by her. Devin Livingston. Over to Brooke Malkinoff, and Brooke's a smooth finisher. Brooke's a midfielder on the purple, 24 purple team. Uh, likely to be a strong defensive midfielder at the next level. And Katrina and the waves row. Showing her skill set. Danielle Sweetnowski with the ball, left handed attack. Nice ripper by Danielle. Absolutely. She's a, a goal scorer and she slashes the middle. Mia Stella, midfielder type. Katrina Rowe looking to feed. Katrina Rowe is more than a capable dodger. There it is, a little ball fake. Just a little wide. Yep. Yeah. Mooney with Mooney. the loose ball. Looking for a backdoor cut here. Good job. Mia Estelle picks it up. Mia is very explosive. Logan Madigan. Kate Ratham. She can dodge. Let's see. This is a good matchup because Katrina Rose is a very capable defender. Yep, turns her back. Laura Cook off the pick and roll, and Danny Moody read that. Good finish. Good move by Brooke Sumner. Oh. I wasn't sure of the call, but yep. took that one off the board. All right, Abby Murphy did a nice job of sealing the goal circle. Eddie Cooper. Over to Chloe Luther oh, in the backhand Luther. shovel shot. We got a one goal game. Good all out there. Number one, Caitlin Scambalone. Emma Mathis. With the pick. And Emma finishes. Good 
Great play by Chloe Luther. Addie does good. Addie Cooper, 21 on purple, does a good job of getting into the hands of the ball carrier. She's got such good feet and yeah. good, good okay. lateral that she can play tight and stay tight. Hidden ball trick. <laughs> so how much time do we have left, Coach? Should we start? Yeah, um, we got about five minutes. Malibur, coast to coast. Doesn't matter which hand, what angle. She's got the whole bag of tricks. She can have my vote for purple. <laughs> Not much to vote on, was it? No. Maeve Diefendorf, very impressive. Her defend, uh, defender going strong, using both hands. Over the top, Mia Stell's looking for the long ball. Picked by Malkinoff. She read that, and it's going to go to Livingston. And she probably has my vote. Yvonne Livingston and Katie Malver. I think those are the two right choices for this game. Get them out of the way now. <laughs> Now you watch both these teams, you could easily pick multiple players. No question. Yep. You know, and, and quietly, Katrina Rose really put up some really good numbers, but very quietly other than some shots here. I was thinking the same thing about Roberts. Roberts could, Roberts could win it every day. She's, she's an unsung hero type. You know, there's Rowe getting the ball, coming back, and she'll make a play up to Mooney, I would imagine. No, yeah, she's down she's by looking three. for Murphy, even a better luck. They're down by three, and now it's two. Oh, no, it's a missed. Yep. They could have brought it within two here. Murphy going strong. Nice save in there. It says Berkeley Brown in there making some saves. On our 24 purple team, there's really only one or two true defenders. Everybody else is a midfielder. You know, and So we can run three midfield lines. It's impressive. Kate Ratham, let's see her dodge. I'd like to see this matchup. Because Katrina will do a good job staying with her. Going to put Lior Cook on the eight again. Not my favorite call. Right up on her. I think, um, yeah, I think that. Uh, but who are we to complain about a fish eater? We never do that. <laughs> Madigan, good look across great, trees. Great pass by a good, Logan. Good series of passes. Yeah. Logan yep. Madigan, nice yep. job. Logan Madigan <laughs> looked at the goal, saw she didn't have it, looked cross crease, made a great pass cross crease to Tall Chief. Still a three goal game. Danny Mooney, good luck, and there's roll again. Two minutes left, it's a two goal game. You know, great cut by uh, Katrina Rowe, but I don't think there's anybody on our team that is better at hitting the cutters on back doors than Danny Mooney. And Emma Mathis is going to go off. A la Kilo, Keelan O'Brien, a uh, little, little high play there. I think it's tough for these tall kids. No playing, question. Playing smaller defenders. No question. That's a great ball fake. Nice one. By number 80. Kia Swamp. Kia Swamp. Bowie Blazek, tough angle, no. nice save. Okay, we got about a minute 20 left. Yep. A minute 20. Cameron Desu jumping the goalie. Two goal game. Good, Good out lot to Malkinoff. It's going to go to Roberts. 
Nice handle. There's the look. Oh, oh almost. And Del Danielle Sweetnowski just couldn't find the handle. Addie Cooper doing a great job seeing her goalie under pressure, coming back to the ball. She's stuck in the corner in the double. Gonna give it to Purple. Cameron Desu looking for the home run with the game on the line. And Maeve Diefendorf picks it off. Sweet Sweetnowski is not going to pass. She's going to put it in herself. She is a goal scorer and a slasher. Likes to get into the gaps Makes it without question. No, other way. It's 17-14. So that's it. That's the ball game. Okay, that's it. Our players of the game for the white team, Devin, Devon, Livingston. And for the purple team, we're going to go with Katie Malibur. Those are two great choices, and they can, they can be in the conversation. Every game you ever play is a monster. We're going to get them out of the way here because they deserve it and move on to some other players as we progress through <laughs> the, the, today's games. They definitely are two dominant players. No question. Um, and are going to be top uh, top opportunities for some of these schools. Oh, they're going to. They're going to be in that blue chip group. Okay, I'm here with Katie Malibur, our Henrietta Hots player of the game for the purple team. Katie, congratulations. You were absolutely dominant in that game. Tell me your feelings on, on the game. Thank you. Uh, I feel like our team did really well. I, f I think all of us are pretty... Uh, open to share the ball with each other and I think we all just want to make each other better so I feel like setting others up and others were there to help each other so that was really fun to play in. You absolutely look great doing that setting girls up and uh, your ability to use both hands and score from multiple angles. Tell us about that. Tell me about the time that you spend on your stick work. Uh, thank you. I spent a lot of time in the front yard working. Thanks uh, to my dad for helping me out with that and my brother um, and my mom. So uh, just lots of reps. Everything that I do in my right hand, number of dodges, shots, I do the same in my left. And I have been since <laughs> probably second grade. So uh, I feel like that has helped me as a player. And I feel like if I can keep continuing to do that, then it'll help me benefit my other teammates. And tell, tell us about what club team and positions and high school and, and so forth. All right, Monster 2024, purple team. I am from Fairport High School. Uh, I'm on varsity. Uh, I'm number one on Fairport, and yeah. And what positions do you play? Uh, for uh, Monster, I now play low right attack, and at Fairport, <laughs> I play midfield. Okay, fantastic. And give me three, uh, three dream schools. Uh, Notre Dame, UPenn, and Virginia, UVA. Awesome. And would you know roughly your GPA offhand? Uh, 4.0. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you're going to have all, a lot of doors open. Congratulations. Thank you. On being the uh, Pittsford Henrietta Hots player of the game. And hand your headset over to Devin. Thank you so much. Yep. All right, Dev. Wait, who do I look? Congratulations, Devin Livingston, on being the Henrietta Hots player of the game for the white team. Thank Tell you. us your thoughts about the game today. Um, I thought it was really fast-paced, which is what I love. I think we were sharing the ball really well. We had our eyes up, and we were really doing a good job and doing high-pressure um, defense, which we really like pressed on doing since the start. Okay, Devin, tell us about your high school and, and your club team and what positions you play and so on. Um, I currently attend Victor Senior High School. Um, we were Section 5 finalists last year, looking to get the block this year. Um, I also play on Monster Purple 2024, where I'm a midfielder, number 11, and yeah, I'm a starting midfielder on um, Victor Varsity as well. And what was your highlight tournament during the summer and why? Um, I thought I played exceptionally well in G8 and... Yeah, I think G8 was my breakout tournament, and American Select I thought I did pretty well in, too. Fantastic. And what are your three dream schools? Um, UNC, uh, Boston College, and Florida. Okay, certainly you can make that happen. Thank What's you. your GPA? Uh, unweighted, it's a 96.75. Congratulations. Great job. Thank you. You got it.